Hello friends, this is DK Gautam and thank you for joining Interviewcon. So in this video, I am going to discuss one of the most important uh, concept in C sharp that is nothing but collections in C sharp. Okay, so now let's get started. So in C sharp, so first we need to understand what is collection and why we are going to use collections. Okay, so Arrays are most useful for creating and working with a fixed number of strongly typed objects. Actually, the problem is in array, we cannot auto resize. Okay, it is a fixed length. Okay, and the array we can uh, insert only similar uh, data type elements. So, this is the problem with array. So, we call this problem. Uh, C sharp introduced uh, concept is nothing but C sharp collection. So in C sharp collection, this problem is re removed. So for any applications you want to create and manage groups of related objects, there are two ways to group objects by creating arrays of objects and by creating the collections of objects. So I already have discussed the problem with the arrays. So now in this uh, video tutorial in this series i am going to work with collections classes okay so the next point is collections provides a more flexible way to work with groups of objects unlike arrays the group of objects you want you work with can grow and shrink dynamically so in the collections you can uh, increase the size of uh, uh, collection and you can shrink dynamically okay so as as the need of the application changes so according to our requirement we can change the size of our uh, class or we can say collection class okay so so in the collection class it actually we are working with collection class so in, in the collection class there are so many classes i will discuss in later in this same video so the next point it is the most important point here a collection is a class so you must declare an instance of the class before you can add elements to the to that collections okay so now come to the next point is types of collection so actually in c sharp there are two types of collections so first one is uh, non generic and second one is generic collections okay so in the first non generic collection it is available in system dot collections namespace okay so when we are working with non generic uh, collection at that time we are using system dot collections namespace okay so in this namespace in this collection we have so many classes array list uh, hash table sorted list length list and stack and queue so in the next video i am going to discuss about the array list okay so this is the overview of the uh, C# collection or it is also available in java so but uh, we are uh, concept in this video i am going to discuss about the C# collection model okay so now move to the next video so in this video in the next video i am going to cover all these so but in the first video i am going to cover array list only okay so i hope you will enjoy this video and thank you for watching this video for more videos please don't forget to subscribe our youtube channel you can visit my facebook page and you can visit my blog this is my blog address and this is my facebook address okay so thank you guys and all the best